What's up everyone, Electronic Search here, back with another video. In today's video, we're going to be taking apart the Sony, Sony Bravia 55-inch TV. I got some tools here, um, pliers, a cup, so I can put all the screws in there, a hammer, um, a flat-top screwdriver, and two Phillips with a wrench. So this is um a Sony a Sony KD-55 X75CH. Um it's from it's from uh it's from 2020. I don't know where the Oh right there. It's from September 2020, which is actually fairly new for this thing, like, September 2020, what, that was like a year, one year and one month ago, because it's October right now, about to be two months ago, and yes, I am recording this on Halloween, obviously, and you may have noticed while I was showing you the tools, we have this kid, it's a pro scan, and yeah, it's a curbside pickup. And it's we're gonna be taking it apart next. Um, I don't think it works, but yeah, this thing has been sitting in my garage for one month, as you can tell by the dust. And yes, it does have a problem. Current strain. All the way up to here it's the correct screen and right there now for some reason half the bezel is missing this is the way I found it half of the bezel is missing I don't know why hey, we have a bird here these stands are very thin I might be selling these because they actually still have the little plastic on them. I don't know if you can see that very well. But they do still still have the plastic thingy on it. So this, th again, this thing is fairly new. Like, But it's just sad. Like, this thing is just one year and a one month old. And this already happened. Like, yeah. There's the Sony logo at the beginning of the video. It's your IR sensor back there. And it did it did come with a cord. Sorry for all the spider webs. Again, it's been sitting in my garage for a month. Catching dust. Now it is already taken apart. That's because I've seen this. Look at that. Doesn't that look like water streaks or something like that? Yeah, so when I found this thing I thought it was water damaged. So I took it apart. Yeah, I took it apart. And I took a look on the inside of it and it looked nice. So I put it I put the cover back. I didn't put it all the way back. And um I have a video of that is right here. So as you can see, it's all clean on there, no water on the motherboards. So I plugged it in and it did turn on, but of course, Mr. Um, this guy problem, it didn't look too well. It is very cold outside, so that's why I am have this jacket on with a sweater and yeah. Here's the video of me turning it on.
So yeah. Um, here's the fi picture of it sitting next to the bin. It's faced back, so I didn't see it. And the cord was just hanging right next to it. So yeah. Um, pretty thin down here. Pretty thin, look at that. And that's what's left of the of the thinness. Obviously, this isn't that thin right here, because you still have the back plate. On top of the plate, at, um, there's no there's no motherboard. All the electrical equipment is in this one block of plastic here, right here. It's all in this. It's not up here. This right behind here is the um the backlights which is pretty cool. You just have this one piece here. So yeah, there's the model label again. Here is the little tag. The the buttons, the buttons are on the other side. I'm sorry. Um where are they? Where are the buttons? Wait, no, they're on this side. I remember they were next to the other they're in there. Oh, it fell down. Oh man, it fell. I'm sorry. the The buttons were right here, but because I already took the TV apart, they fell down. They're somewhere in there. We'll take a look later. The TV has been sitting for one month in my garage. I know I keep on saying this whole whole bunch of times, so it is fully discharged. No electrical. Um, no electricity left in it. Let me go ahead and turn this thing around. Not that heavy. It is pretty light. And as you can see, this entire plate thing is loose. And this fell off when I was trying to take it out. It's the board here. Here's the inputs. So... HDMI 1 and headphone jack. And yeah. So first we're gonna start by removing this plastic piece. That again, this this was already um this wasn't unscrewed. I unscrewed it before. I don't re remember which holes I left. Actually wait, I think there's no screws in here at all. Yeah, we can just slide this up. First, let me disconnect the power source. It's it's in there. There we go. So there's the power cable. All right, now I'm pretty sure we can just slide this up and it should come out. Hopefully. Man, they put this plastic so hard on here that when you try and take it off, you're picking up, you're picking up the TV because the TV is so light and this plastic is on here so, so hard that you're actually just picking the TV off the, off the table. Alright, there we go. Again, it was already unscrewed. We'll get to that later. I'll just put it down right there for now. Um, here's the power button that was on that little plate that I showed you. It's supposed to be right there for some reason it fell off. There's the entire brain of the of the TV. Here's the brains of the TV actually. This is just the power to the to the um board, motherboard. All right, so I'm recording this video when I've um, successfully finished the video. Here's the X1 processor chip. Um, I, I was thinking why they put this much thermal paste on here. Like, look at all this thermal paste. Sorry, I have my flash on. But you can see right in there. There you go. You can see that small little metal thing in there. That's the X1 processor chip. The one that upscales your videos to 4K. So, for example, if you're watching something on 1080p, 
it makes the footage 4K. So yeah. And of course, when I finished recording the video, I read the e-manual, the, the electronic manual on, on the internet, and I found a whole bunch of stuff that I didn't even know about this TV. Like, it's an Android TV, and I didn't know it was an Android TV until I looked in the manual. But yeah, there's everything. Still haven't took these guys down, but I will, I will eventually. This is the motherboard. Yeah. So we have all these kinds of wires. Um, oh, hey, you can actually unscrew these. Ooh, that's interesting. Wow. Wait, can you actually unscrew these? If you can, that would be amazing. Oh my god, you actually can. Okay. Interesting. I can probably sell these. Because again, there's... I'm planning... I'm planning to sell most of the stuff. Like, I'm, I'm probably going to be selling this power cord, the stands. How did grass get on there? Why is it all grass? Um, the speakers, I might sell those. This power board, I might sell that. Speakers, I might, again, I don't know. Sony display. Made in Mexico, um, and all that stuff. September 2020, KD 55X7. CH, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Sony, Sony display. Not no Sanyo garbage that we usually see on stuff. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start with these brackets here. Now, sorry the TV is wobbling. Um, these stands were halfway unscrewed. Like, I, ha I I screwed these pieces in, like, they were loose. Like, if I wouldn't have screwed those in, this TV would fall over. I don't know why, but it wasn't screwed in. So, I don't know. Anyways, I'll just do those brackets later. So, I'm gonna take off the board, the motherboard here. I think this is a Sony motherboard. I think so. What else? Oh, yeah, it's Sony. Sony BKR. So, yeah, this is a genuine Sony motherboard. And I think this power board is also Sony. Yeah, right there. Maybe it's indented. Yep, Sony. Sony right there. GL6. So, yeah, that's, that's also a genuine power board the um antenna and antenna box is kind of small usually on some tvs it would be extremely big like this part it would be pretty big it's actually pretty small let me slide this plastic out i will be keeping the motherboard i might not sell it because there might be private info on here I don't really know because, you know, Mr. Screen is deciding to be cracked. I think I'm going to just slide this out. Yep. Total can. another sticker backlight cover motherboard is almost unscrewed just have three more to go four more i'm sorry four or actually i'll do this one again this is what i mean by the tv bouncing around like these stands are like so unscrewed like, these stands need some tread locker if they are gonna keep on 
moving like this. Like, no, this is ridiculous. It's gonna need some tread locker. Because, look, this entire TV. This entire TV is just bouncing around. It's even more on the top. I think the Pro Scan was doing the same. That Pro Scan over there, I think it was also bouncing around. Don't want any of these to fall on the floor. Um, here, let me see. Yeah, see? The Pro Scan is doing the exact same. So these, the stand is also loosened on there for some reason. Oh, yeah. You might want to disconnect a little something right there. What does this go to? Screen? Yep, that's screen. Okay. I think this is a 4K screen. Again, I'm not sure. And these are speakers. Yeah, those are speakers. Okay, so I'll disconnect those later. Now, this, I think this is my, like my first time taking apart a Sony TV, a Sony Bravia, especially it's one year old. Usually I would be taking TVs apart from like 2007, for example, here, or 2009, or 2015, 2020, September 2020. I'm not gonna be selling this grill on the back. I'm probably just gonna put it next to the bin. Um, I think the power board should come off now. Is there something I'm missing? There could be. Oh wait, no, there's just satisfying moment here. Okay. Never mind. Yeah, see, this that's what I was talking about. Like, there's something holding it in. Oh, what, what's this plate? Plate back here. Oh, that's a heat sink. Oh, that, that's actually interesting. Um, yeah, there is a heat sink on here, as you can see. This is probably the. Oh, yeah, that's interesting. That's the thermal paste. I forgot, I don't, I don't work with thermal paste much with computers. That's interesting. Not something you see in a lot of computers right there. Got some double thermal paste. Goes on the board right there. And there's your little heatsink thing. Or, well, no, this is the heatsink. This is like, I don't know, whatever. We're not talking about that. Let me get these these wires out of here. I probably should have disconnected them before removing the entire screen. And I just ended up breaking the little clip thing here. So we know that part is fragile. Might as well just disconnect it from this side. By the way, this is the power one, the power cable. I think this is how you remove them. sell this board so I don't be careful with the slime but yeah I think I'll do that later oh th by the way this is the backlight wire the wires that go to the backlight the backlight I think does work I don't know anyways I'm getting distracted hold on all right we just have one last little thing right here which is the <laughs> that guy back there and there's the motherboard loosened. Now notice how this connector is yellow and the pin that goes into it is white. It's kind of strange. Oh, this just comes right out. Okay, it just comes right out then. I will be saving this thermal paste pads. I think that's uh, pa um, pads. They're only one year old, so that's why they're not so, like, all over the place, you know? But yeah, you can see that the inside of the TV is cleaner. Not that dirty. Oh, editing this video is going to be kind of hard. Alright, here, let me loosen it up by hand.
All right. There's our little plate, dude. Just gonna put that right over there. I'm probably gonna move this motherboard over here too. It's getting kind of cloudy. Please no rain. Yeah, it's actually getting colder too. I mean, it is mid, mid, um, midday, 12 o'clock, so kind of makes sense. All right, this is screen, right? Yeah, probably for the 4K stuff. I don't know if this TV is 4K. Again, I might have said this already, but I don't know if it upscales, like, like, let's say, um, 1080p footage. I don't know if it upscales it to 4K like some TVs do. It might. It might not. I'm not removing the stance because if I would have put this thing down, the umbrella would have um made some problems. Man, it's getting really dark out here. Dude, like chill. Clouds. Alright, let's start with these speakers here. Now oh, they they're held on with these little oh wait a second oh wait no they just come right out these rubber rubber things right here yep just like that i don't know i don't know if the speakers sound good or not they probably do i don't know we have a ziplock right there or i don't know what it's called but we have to take this out Okay, it's getting really dark out here. Jesus Christ. Um, let's take this out. Take this out. Now I want to make sure there's nothing on the back here of this of this plate, because I'm probably gonna recycle this plate, this back plate, or maybe I won't. Maybe I'll keep it because of the back lights. Because I think all the backlights work. I mean, this again, this TV is only one year old. So I doubt there's going to be that much problems with it. Well, except the, the cracked screen. But, like, the backlights is what I'm talking about. It's getting colder, too. I'm just trying to take off as much wires as possible. And as much tape as possible. Take out these speakers. Alright, I'll just slide them under the TV. Um, that came off. So another one of these Ziploc things. I think I'm probably doing this wrong. I think you're actually supposed to clip those in. Like that. Yeah, that's what you were supposed to do. Lesson learned. No big deal. So the next screw that screws these in is the plate. The back, the back plate. I'm probably gonna get this pro scan in the garage just in case if it starts to rain. Cause I'm gonna take that apart later. I don't need rain in that thing. Obviously, to repair the screen on this kind of TV, it it cost more than the TV. Well, I don't know. That's Samsung, so maybe not with Sony. I don't know. Man, this much stuff in the small... I mean, not small. I, I'd say a small compartment. There's like a whole bunch of stuff. In the small little compartment here, it's like a CRT with all the yoke and the tube and the CRT stuff. I think there's a lot of, a lot of stuff. I think that was our last bezel. Where's, where'd the other one go? Oh wait, there is four. I thought there was three. My bad. I'm gonna unplug this guy right here. I'm not the best. Oh, oh, okay. Just came right out. Um, the board, the backlights, 
and take this out. Alright, the power board is fully disconnected from anything, so you know what that means. I haven't plugged the Pro Scan in yet, and I'm not gonna plug it in because you know I don't want to blow a fuse right now because the condition of that thing, like the stand, is just completely dirt. It was next to a giant bin, so not expecting anything from it. No remote, no cord, so yeah. lovely bird singing in the background not what you should not what you get on the end of october no cicadas still no cicadas sadly yeah see if i would have taken apart the pro scan right now it's, it's like taking apart a crt because there there's like so much parts in it because it's a 2000 7 TV and it's got like 1080p stuff on it. You wouldn't see 1080p on a 2007 TV. Now I'm not sure about the RF shield like I don't know how to sell it. I mean like take it off without the the glue coming off, you know. <sighs> Anyways, we just have a little bit more not that much of stuff. The antenna router, I think it's built into the TV. I mean, the, the board of the TV. Maybe it's not, I don't know. This, this is ground, right? Yeah, that's ground. Okay, so you want to disconnect that. Here it is, coming out. Alrighty. Oh, wait a second. Oh, this might be the TV antenna. Can this be the TV antenna? I don't know. I think that's ground, though. Maybe it's not. We don't know. Alright, these, these cords are probably going to be my cat's new toy. Because she likes playing around with these TV wires. Because they're nice and thick. You know what I mean? Because I took apart like two different kinds of LG TVs and she still has those little cords. These little cords from the... From the power supply to the to the motherboard connector. I'm taking off this thing. I'm guessing this is the the picture. Maybe it not. I don't know. Well it's got this metal plate behind it, so I'm guessing this is probably the the 4K stuff. Which we're about to get into. Take all the stuff off. I have found a bit of smart TVs before, but not a smart TV from 2020. Like, first find. Like, I've seen TVs from, like, no, like, 20... I think I took apart a 2019 TV, TV before. Maybe not. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. I think it... Um, 2018... That's that LG TV and the Samsung TV. And I haven't taken those apart. They're both 4K though. One with the cracked screen and one with the motherboard that... Um, well, at first, it was like... When I picked it up, it was like a perfect TV. Like, bro, like, come on. Why would you throw this out? Two months later, TV started acting up, and there were problems. Oh yeah, this is the this is the um the the picture.
picture board. The picture. What was that? There's more some of the thermal paste right there on top of the CPU. I think that's called the CPU. I don't know. Is this a Sony board? I don't know why I want to see if this is a Sony board or not. I just want to make sure this stuff is genuine. Because there is fake TVs out there. I mean, this this isn't made in China, right? This is made in Mexico. But wait, that's a display. That could be the, um... On the LG TV I took apart last time. This thing came off so smoothly. Like, it was actually satisfying. You, like, you just peel it off. Let me see if it's made in China. I think it is. No, made in Mexico. Okay, so this TV isn't from China. Thank God. I mean, it is Sony, so... You know, Sony high-quality stuff. Especially CRTs. And TVs nowadays, like 8K. And stuff like that. I think the clouds are passing by, but it is still pretty dark. And it is getting colder. This video is going 33 minutes long so far. Well, of course, this might be different when I'm editing the video. Because, you know, there's editing stuff that I still... Whoops. That I still have to do. Oh. Fancy. Alright, I'll make sure to take that off. Alright, I don't need this, right? No, I don't, I, I don't need that. It's just a block of plastic. Is it still here? Oh, man. Yes, it's still there, Jesus Christ. I forgot to take the motherboard off. Can you believe that? Oh man, all right, you're coming home with me. I'm so glad it didn't start raining because this thing was sitting outside for two days from now on since I took apart this TV. And if this got, is this, this is this is why you always um check something before you actually do it. See, while I was editing the video, I noticed I forgot to take this motherboard down, and I didn't even notice it until I was editing. Not plastic metal. Alrighty. I think I can remove these speakers now once I get that removed. So this is actually interesting. Um, the, the, the power thing is actually on the bottom of the TV. I don't know, is that wood shavings? What are wood shavings doing in there? So this, this is interesting, the, the power thing. Or, I mean, the remote sensors, like, on the very bottom of the TV. Usually, it would be on the corner of the TV. Or in the center, but this thing is, like, on the bottom of it. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's right there at the very corner. You can see those two little black dots right there. Oh, again, there's a yellow connector with a yellow plug. These wood shavings are getting all over the place. I, I'm probably going to sell that. Does it say Sony on it? Yep, it does. Right up there in the corner. I don't know if you can see that, but it does say Sony, so it is genuine. Alright, so I think I sh this is probably the time I should clean up this table. Start throwing some of the stuff out, like this plastic. So I have different kinds of stuff on here. I have this plastic piece. I have these wires here that I'll take home. Give them to my cat if my cat doesn't like them. Then I'm probably just gonna put them on top of the bin. All right, speakers. Anyways, speakers are going, going home. Okay, yeah, you can come with us too, whatever. No, we're not done yet. We we still have the we st 
Oh, we still have like a, this 55 inch thing to disassemble. Like, we're not done yet. All right, here's the TV completely naked from the back. Now I somehow have to manage to put this thing face down. And these um, stands are going to have to come off because I have to put the TV down. I'm probably going to crack the screen even more, but whatever. It's already cracked now. I already cracked it even more. Probably going to take this pro scan and, and decide. I did, I did, um, I will take this label off. I will also take that label off. I'll take this off and I'll take any other labels off just so I can stick them onto my Sony computer and make it look cool. I'll also take off the Sony badge. This, I don't think it comes off though. Yeah, I don't think that comes off. It's embelled into the bezel, but I might just break the bezel because it's plastic. Alrighty, here's all the stuff we have so far. I'm not gonna take the RF shield off yet because I have to figure out what to do with it. I don't want to like waste the residue, you know, that type of stuff. Okay, so the TV turned into air and what I, I don't mean some kind of floating stuff. This thing is actually as, um, as light as a air, like... Okay, maybe, maybe it's like a piece of plastic, but it was actually very easy to pick this thing up and put it face down. Now, I'm currently taking off these stands, and we're on our way to... Actually, wait, no, I don't have to take out this plastic. I'm not gonna sell plastic. Who needs this plastic stuff? Oh, come on. There we go. I think the stands actually have some weight to it. Please don't lose the screws. I, I, I really need them. So far, I'm working on this 40 minutes. Again, it might seem different when I'm editing the video. Oh wait, one of the plastic is off. One of the plastic pieces are off. Oh man, the rubber on the bottom is damaged. Oh man, that could be from moving it around from place to place all the time. Anyways, I have to take these off. First, I'm gonna clean up this desk because this is a, just a pile of junk here. And I'm gonna bring all the important stuff like these boards this 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 wait no that it ain't no important stuff and that over there i'm gonna get this pro scan in the garage so i'll be back in a sec okay so i'm currently taking off these plastic stuff and a packing peanut just fell out of it not a packing peanut but this this could be from factory though oh wait it's on the floor it's this packing peanut material stuff all right so i got i got all the um, motherboard and important things in the house and i got the pro scan stuff in the garage the plate is still here the back plate oh wait here I'm gonna remove this thing there is this metal thing. There's this metal thing and this plastic stuff. Alright. Well, look at that. It still lines up. See, this is where the, where the motherboard, where the, um, the backlight would connect into the power board. See, it still remembers its spot. Good job, little wire. So far, uh, because I started a new recording, so far we're going at one minute long. I'm starting to feel something drizzle. Now, I might destroy the LCD 
I might not destroy the LCD. Or, I mean, it's not really an LCD, it's a 4K screen. So, yeah. Um, all the speaker stuff. I'm gonna review what, what, I, what things I can sell. And then, then we'll see. Or maybe I won't sell them. Maybe I'll just keep them, like, the stands and stuff like that. <sighs> Come on. Please, I got, I got not a lot of time because these angry clouds, these angry clouds stuff above me. It's just, all right, get in there. Oh, wait, this actually sells the, the OPT sheet. I think this is the diffuser plate PS reflector sheet. Uh, interesting. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. Again, I got distracted again. What is that? What is that, a tracking device? I don't think so. I don't know what that is. Oh, wait, no. I think this is... It, it keeps on going. Alright. Come on. Wait, please don't tell me there's more screws under here, right? There can't be. No, these are probably just clips. I don't think there can be anything else down there. Yeah, they're just clips. You can also see the reflective sheet stuff in there. Oh! The reflector sheet diffuser plate OPT sheet. That's all of these guys were down there. Thinking I thought it was that. My bad. So there that that information is probably important, so I'm probably gonna take that sticker off too. I I don't know, I'm just collecting stuff that I do not need, but I'm still gonna keep. Now, of course, I cannot sell the LCD plate board, daughter, daughter board. Oh, man. How do you take this little guy off? Why is the TV so warm? Why is it so warm? Or is it just my hands are so cold? No, seriously, look, the TV's actually warm. Okay, this part is cold. This part is warm. Like, it's not hot, but it's warm. This part is warm. Huh, weird. That's... But how can this stuff be... Yeah, like, this is very warm. There's no motherboard on there. It's not connected to electricity, so I don't know why it's so warm like my hands are very cold and i can feel it oh there goes some broken plastic oh dear any more broken plastic okay goodbye all right now for the other one I don't know how to take this off properly. So we're gonna have some more flying plastic. Oh wait, no, didn't have any flying plastic. More of this tape stuff here in the back. And this should just come off, right? Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot the bezel. How the bezel comes off now? Yeah, cause we broke the clips. We broke the clips for the bezel, so now Half the bezel comes off. Okay, I'll do that later. Alright, time to flip it over. The screen is gonna scratch even more. That's not like it was already cracked. I mean, scratched. I think we... I mean, I, I don't care about the bezel, so we're just gonna clip it off. Don't care about the LCD, because, you know, Mr. LCD, again, he's 
still cracked. Or we can just play this little game right here. And just take it off easily. Aw, don't want to play the game anymore? Why not? Oh, wait. Come on. The Sony text is down there and it's coming with me. Please don't break this because I'm going to keep that. I might keep it. I'm sorry for putting tools on the TV screen. I'm not going to do that anymore. Please don't crack the plastic next to the Bravia text. Yes. Is it okay? Well, there's like that stuff back there. Yep, it's okay. Thank God. We got the bezel off. All right, now the LCD is completely free. I cannot wait to see how um, dust free the other side is. Please don't get glass on my hands and please don't crack even more. Oh, oh yeah. You can actually see my reflection in there now. Oh yeah, you can see where the, where the TV cracked. It's legit mirror. It's a legit mirror. Look at that. Interesting. Like on this side, you can't even see the reflection. Can't even see the reflection of the phone. Look at that. Okay, there's our. Oh man, that's so bright. This guy right here, he's just gonna have to come off. I don't know how to take him off. Should probably turn the thing around again. I almost knocked it down. That would have been a pain to pick up. Alrighty, Mr. Daughterboard here. Or Mrs. Daughterboard. Sorry. I like this. It's pretty cool. It's not poppets, but... Oh man, that one's hard. I think I'm doing it the wrong direction. Yeah doing it the wrong direction yay thank you for that small little game to one. Might keep that in my room. Alright, it's completely free now. And let's get rid of the LCD. Oh, I'm sorry, I just cracked it right there. I'm sorry. Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm very sorry. I, I just, oh, sorry. 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 I'm sorry. I just keep on cracking the screen. I can't take it off with my, oh, it's lighting up. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. 
Oh my god. Did you see how that screen just lit up like it was connected to electricity? <sighs> Time to take off the frame. Come on. Alright, I'm not going to be playing with Mr. Clips here. So far, the new video is going at 14 minutes. Man, why is the bottom one so hard to take off? I'm not, I'm probably not gonna keep the paper. All right, I did it. It's probably gonna crack here. Wait, no. Some broken plastic. That's it. All right. Yeah, baby. Just like that. Oh yeah. Here's our rainbow string. Is what I like to call it. Here's our Mr. Um, plain white screen, is what I like to call it. Here's the... Oh, yeah. Here's the, um, the plain. Um, the big white thing. Nice. Let me get this thing home. And that's everything. It's already scratched. Not like I'm keeping it. Oh, yeah. And screen. 55 inch screen. Ooh. Look at that disco party right there. Come on. You can do it. It's lighting up. Wait, no, I I'm cracking it. Okay. Oh, yep, there it goes. I'm cracking the screen, dude. Back up. No, garage. The garage is cracking the screen. There. lighting up it gets connected to electrical source let me see if i can get it solid no it's it's just flashing come on stay why is these pixels so mean okay no it's just gonna keep on flashing this paper is so nice Ooh, there's... Oh, man, that's... Look at that. 
It's this way, not that way. Interesting. I have to carefully take these off. I have to get the backlight wire out. Where did? Where was it? Um, it was. It's right there. Right here. Come on, buddy. is to prevent light from getting out. Here's another one. These LED strips though, wow. No, like I've seen LED strips before, like, but not, I've only seen them go this way, not vertical. Cleaning it up. I'm cleaning it up so I can get the thumbnail shot. This will be difficult. Guess I gotta let it be. Alright, for the thumbnail shot, I have to get these back in there. Oh, yeah. That's how much screws we had, except the plastic. Uh-oh. Well, okay. Ooh. You wanna give us a light show now? No? Okay, well you're going over here now. Twenty-two minutes in the video and we're finally done in the new one though here's how much it actually took me without the editing part thank you wind time to recycle I'm keeping this part for now because I want to take off this and this.
won't fit in the bin. Thank you very much, wind. here. Yeah, the wind, the wind pretty much destroyed the LCD. Again, gotta love wind. Alright, I'm putting you over here for now. I don't want you over there. Now I gotta get a blow dryer out here and take these labels off so I can recycle this. This one's already coming off. Never mind. This paper is thick. See, there's like these lines when I tried ripping it off. I'm keeping these two. I think that's everything. Here, here's the, that. The label that's now gone. Another label that's now gone. I can actually draw on it. I forgot one. I'm keeping these three. Not taking that. So I'm not keeping the screws. These screws, I'll look which ones are good for me and which ones are not. But there's every one single screw. Not keeping these layers except that big plastic one. Plastic, plastic, this ain't no, this ain't going in no landfill, this, um, this is also plastic, some MF, so those labels, Again, this ain't going in no landfill. Chill. What is this? Metal. Another block of metal. Plastic. And metal. Alright. Plastic. Being these. I'm gonna rip these guys off and I'm gonna keep these I'm gonna get the Bravia out and this Bravia piece so yeah <sighs> this is metal so no this is all going on top of the bin for those metal scrappers that need this this metal stuff actually has some weight to it this is for these stands Alright, so this is going home. 
Don't worry, you're going going in the recycle bin next. This I'll be keeping. I'll take the lamps off and I'll keep you guys informed on that. I'm keeping the lamps and I'm gonna be keeping this. I'm, I'm gonna take off that label too. Anyways, it's time to take care of that. So I put it in the in the recycling bin for the TV screen. I'm gonna break it down. For the TV screen, I'm gonna break it down into small pieces. This guy right here. And um, I will throw it out because I don't need this. Can we get that light show again? Oh wait, the light show is on the other side. Come on. Oh yeah, do that again. That looks cool, that light show. And I'm cracking the TV screen just by holding it. All right, make sure, make sure you can't fly away. There you go. All right, goodbye. You'll see this guy in a video. This, you're coming home with me. Yeah, you're coming home with me. I will take these off because they're extremely satisfying. Thank you, Sony, for including that in there. All right, labels, you're coming with me. Tools. The tools are going in the garage. The, the screws are going home because I got to review which ones I'm going to keep and which ones I'm not. Really? I caught that on camera. Yeah. Just put that down right there. Put that down in there. Alright, so for this pro scan stuff, for this pro scan, I'm gonna probably take it apart next weekend. There's the model. So yeah, not gonna be plugging this this stuff in. Um full HD 1080p. Next video coming up on this eventually. So, now this guy is probably going to sit in the garage for one month. And then I'm probably going to finally take it apart. Just like that Sony Trintron that used to be here. Now I have this kid. Alrighty. So, stay tuned on this Pro Scan stuff. Um, this Pro Scan stuff. It will, the video will be coming out eventually. Hopefully. Maybe not. Yeah, I don't know how long this thing is going to be sitting in this garage. But hopefully I can... Take this pro scan stuff apart and get rid of it and recycle this plastic. Okay. Did the cat run down here? You better not tell me that cat got in here. Alright, so this is temporarily going home. Again, I'm gonna take these LEDs off, get the back off. This is metal, so I will um, put that on the bin. Put, I'm probably gonna say metal on there. This fan needs to go home. Oh, the cat got out of the garage. Yeah, no garage. All right, these labels were, this label is definitely gonna look beautiful on my Sony computer. So, yeah. Okay, somehow the wind managed to knock this thing over. Okay. I changed my mind. I'll put this down later.
All right, so it's been a long time since I've um, finished taking apart the Sony Bravia TV. As you can see, my cat, it's, it's in the morning, it's Friday morning. I might take apart the Pro Scan today. And as you can see, here's my cat's toy. This thing that she really likes. And this big, big cord. Wait, no, that's not it. Sorry. Here, this one. As you can tell, there's a whole lot of stuff in there. And I still haven't figured out what to do with the stuff. I've put it up here against the corner. So, yeah. I, I still haven't unscrewed the small little motherboard, but I did put the little ground cable on it. Or, I think that's a ground cable. Not sure. Once I unscrew this this board, I can throw this metal out. Or recycle it, I should say. So, yeah, the stands, I still have them. The LED backlights, they're down in the basement. Because I'm going to take them out in the basement. The the LED backlight, the big strong plastic piece, you know the screen thing, it's down in the basement next to the TVs down in the storage. And again, I might take this thing apart. I'm I'm not sure if I will or not. But yeah. I'll keep you guys informed on the Sony Trinitron stuff. I mean, not Sony Trinitron. Bravia stuff. I'll keep you informed on all the stuff. And I'll keep you informed on the LED strips. Because I need to get this video out. Um, I mean, like, uploaded as soon as possible. So I can start taking apart the ProScan TV. Because, uh, um... I'm not running low on memory. It's just that, um editing and processing the entire video once it's edited will be hard to do so yeah thanks thanks for watching this has been long day no bravia anymore i still have the screen i still have the screen i might destroy it today and throw it out so yeah all right that's it thank you guys for watching I'll see you in that pro scan. The whole taking apart pro scan stuff. Thank you for watching and like, subscribe, comment. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys later. Hopefully, I can get this video edited because this part, third part, is going 13 minutes long so far. All right, goodbye.